Uh, okay, so just to see who's here, um, who are the winners of the Oscar Award? 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 Who are the Uh, and of course, the rest, I, I'd like to believe our readers. Thank you so much for dropping by. Um, my name is Carlo Vergara. I just turned 46. And so that makes me one of the seniors going towards veteran status. So, yun yung jail job ko kay budget na, na parang takong budget, tarating na yung time. Veterans na tayo, ganyan. Ang tanong tatagal ba tayo <laughs> na umabot ng veterans? Because there was a time uh, recently where I posted on Facebook that I was thinking about quitting comics. And it was a very, very emotional time for me. Um, but, you know, before we get there, backtrack na tayo. I will try and condense 40 years of my life in 30 minutes. Relevant naman siya dito sa pinag-uusapan natin. Um, I was more of an illustrator than a writer when I was young. I started drawing, sabi ng nanay ko, four years old pa lang ako. Nag-drawing na ako, although I don't really remember that. Tapos yung mga influences ko while growing up were... Walt S. Five. Ganyan. Tapos nila drawing-drawing namin yung, ano, yung Go Ranger, mga ganyan. Basta yung, that whole gamu of anime and sentai shows during the 70s, yan. Yon. Mondays, Nekanda Robot, Tuesdays, Daimos, Wednesdays, uh, Mazinger Z, Thursdays, UFO Grandizer, Fridays, Oldest Five. Yon, yung ganon. Meron sa Channel 7, meron sa Channel 9, meron sa Channel 13, ganyan. Ngayon, um, eventually, um, when I reached college, that's when, in De La Salle, um, sumali ako dun sa school paper, De La Salle yan. Tapos, art department, we were supposed to make comic strips. So that was the first time na um, I got published as a comics person. And this was in 1988. Okay, who was not born in 1988? Sinong wala pa, who did not exist in 1988? Ayan. So, yeah. um, and then, um, after college, after college, um, I worked in La Salle, sa PR office nila, and in La Salle, there's this group called the Ruffers. Okay, sila yung, sila yung official geeks ng De La Salle. They were into manga and anime and role-playing games and ganyan. Um, so, I found a home with them. Kasi nung high school, nag Dungeons and Dragons ako, Dungeon Master ako, yung pinalo namin, Dungeons and Dragons, um, yung, um, uh, what else? Uh, Marvel Super Heroes RPG, DC, role-playing games, ganyan. Pati yung White Wolf, pinatulan na namin. Yun, yung mga vampire, mga mage, yan, ganyan. Um, and then, so one of my friends in that group, Alex Santos, who I know now is a teacher and savior, sabi, Carl, gawa tayo ng comics, ganyan. Um, ako naman, sige, okay, ganyan. I've never done a full comic book before. So we had our friend, David Pontiveros, um, write the script uh, about a Pinoy group of superheroes called Flashpoint. And we released it through uh, Expressions. You're familiar with Expressions, the bookstore, the small bookstore chain. So we released yeah. And what we didn't know was there were other groups during the time in the early 90s who gumagawa din. So you had Bajetan and Arnold Are and ano, they were doing Alamat 101. Tapos dito sa sites na Gilbert Monsanto, sina Louis Antonio, they were doing Exodus and these other uh, you know, small splinter groups ganyan. This was the early 90s. Kasi during that time, pawala na yung New Stand Comics or it's almost dead. Ganyan. So we wanted to revive the comic book industry. Ganyan. We wanted to be, uh, you know, parang yun. Meron kami yung ego trip during that time. And then, um, but, you know, um, 
things happen. We had a few conventions. Yung mga conventions na pani artwork ng comics, yung ganon, yung ganon type. Um, eventually, in the late 90s, Arnold Tanner released Mythology Class, won the National Book Award, and personally, na ingit ako <laughs> na parang umabot sa ganon yung local comics, yung parang naging recognized siya by critics, ganyan. So, naisip ko yun, I'm gonna make my own. I'm gonna make my own, pero testing lang muna, 56 pages lang. Ganyan. So, I did One Night in Purgatory, which is, for those who don't know, One Night in Purgatory is just, hindi siya superhero drama lang siya, about two guys na one straight and one gay, and they were best friends, but eventually had a relationship. Ganyan. So, One Night in Purgatory is about the night when they met Ganyan. up again. Ganon. So, make sing kwento lang. Um, it got a uh, finalist slot sa National Book Awards. And um, the following year was Josh Saturna, 2002. Yon, self published pa. Pinagastusan. Sell out of pocket yung, uh, yung printing press ganyan. Because, I, because during that time, most of my peers were doing um, Risograph or Xerox comics. Tas sa loob -loob ko, gusto ko naman gumawa ng through the printing press naman, ganyan. And yun nga, yung luckily, yun nga, it, it, it got, it won the National Book Award. I had it coursed through this print, and you have the compilation coming out in 2003. Yun. So it was during that time nga, no, parang, um, Parang wow, okay. Parang that was like a big milestone para sa akin. And then suddenly you had five movie companies contacting you for the rights. Okay. So one of them, of course, was Regal Films, uh, which I eventually chose because they gave the best deal. Okay. Um, there was a TV production house that wanted to do the series, but this was in the early 2000s. Hindi pa lumalabas si Maya Husband's Lover, wala pang mga ganon. So yung tanuhos kanila, parang, how can you create a TV series headlining a homosexual character? During that time, it was like unheard of, unthinkable, ganyan. Inaalala ko, baka hindi mag-rate yan, baka hindi kayo mapo ng advertising, ganyan. So that, so that didn't materialize. But I was also contacted by Tanghalang Pilipino. The, of the Cultural Center of the Philippines for the musical. So in 2006, I had a musical in February and a movie in December. So yun nangyari. So it was like a whirlwind year for me. I had a full-time job then at that time. Yung ganon. Now, during that time in 2006, and people were asking me, okay na na yung sequel. Hindi ko alam kung paano gumawa ng sequel. And then I realized na hindi ako marunong gumawa ng kwento. Because everything that I've been doing was instinctual. This is how I felt a story could be made. I didn't know anything about yung tiyatawag nilang soft story structure, through lines, character arc, set up, payoff. Wala akong kaalam-alam doon. Everything was just lang bukso ng damdamin, ika nga, ganyan. And I was doing that when I did Jaja Saturna. For those who don't know, I was going through a period of depression. So Jaja was my way of going through an emotional time. Um, so sabi ko sa friends ko, just kung man, ayaw ko naman matipress ulit, parang lang gumawa ng libro, parang every time gawa ng libro, kaya ako matipress ulit, parang hindi yata tama yun, di ba? So what I did was, I stopped making comics for a while, after Jaja, I did draw comics for a US-based publisher, Graphic Classics. But while I was drawing stuff for them and doing my full-time job, um, I was studying. So, order ako ng books sa Amazon, yung mga um, online courses, ganyan. Para magbukuha ng kwento, yung ganyan. Yung technical, yung ganyan. The technical way of constructing stories, yun ang pinag-aralan ko. So, and then you and then you realize nga, oh, may pattern pala yung sinasabi ng formula na hindi pala formula, yung gano'n. Um, and for those who are thinking of 
making their own stories yon that's the first thing talaga or learn learn story structure it is the most powerful thing you can learn in making stories and it has helped me a lot until now um so what happened so dumaan na ako doon sa period na yun na, okay, I think I know how to make a story, I think. So I decided I'm gonna make Josh Saturna sa Kalakang Maynila, which until now is not finished yet. But I will finish it this year, promise ko yun. So yun ang, parang yun yung, yun yung parang testing ko sa sarili ko pagdating sa comics. Culminating thesis, kumbaga, of all I've learned. And then on the side naman, um, who has heard of the Virgin Lab Fest? Okay, so the Virgin Lab Fest is a playwriting festival in the cultural center of the Philippines. They have it every year. And essentially, it's you submit your play, and if it gets accepted, it gets staged. Yun. Um, maliit lang yung, yung the token cash is maliit lang, pero the thrill of having your work actually staged parang magandang reward na yon so parang sinip sinabi ko sa sarili ko okay so I'll test myself nga parang parang apply again so I wrote a play kung paano ako naging leading lady which is a play about the the maid of a superhero team yon one act play lang siya so it's just three characters you have the maid yung sister ng maid at saka yung leading man the telekin the one with the telekinetic ring kanya nagwapo na English spoken eh, who falls in love with the maid and then the sister is actually a lackey of the supervillains ganon, ganon yung ano so my fight scene ganyan it was directed by Chris Martinez if you're familiar with that, uh, that film director so siya yung direct ng play and in the tradition of Lab Fest if you're in the top three best plays among the slate of 12 that were chosen you get restaged the following year. So I got restaged. Tapos na lumapit. Sir Carlo, pwede na pa namin gawin musical yan. So, musical again? Ganyan. So I, 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 this was like from out of the blue. Someone from the audience just approached me nagkataon na they were setting up a theater company and asked me if I wanted Leading Lady to become a full-length musical. So, siyempre, ano sabihin mo? Sige, game. Ganyan. And there goes again the new process na ako na ang magsusulat ng full script. So, it was a matter of taking that small story, three-character story, the maid, the kapatid, and the superhero, and expand it into a full-length story with the superhero team, the supervillain team, the family of the maid, and what happens between them, Kenyan. And it was staged in March 2015, starring between Escalante and Frenchie D, along with Marky Strom and these big people in theater. So we had like over 40 shows of that. <coughs> and incidentally, Ateneo is doing it this year, in April. So they're doing their version of the Leading Lady Musical in Ateneo. Um, so every year, I submit na for Lab Fest, and out of the four times na nagsubmit ako, three have been staged. So the second one, the missing piece, is about what if um, there's a prophecy that says um, if the Philippines wins five of the major beauty pageants in one year, there will be world peace. So yun yung premise ng play, ganyan. Um, the third one that I submitted to them mula sa Kulimliman is essentially about what if there's this ordinary wife and discovers that her husband is actually panay. Yung ganon. So imagine the scenario, itong wife na ito nagpapakandahirap sa keeping the household running, meron siyang anak, parating wala yung tatay kasi may trabaho daw sa construction, na ganyan. So, nahihirapan si wife, gano'n. Tapos, may may, oy, um, dumating na si husband, so happy-happy, ganyan-ganyan. And then suddenly, there's this little discovery, and the husband has to reveal na 
with sword and costume and everything na I'm actually a warrior from um, uh, this other dimension. Nato kasi wife. Nagkakanda hirap ako dito tapos doon ka nagkano? Hindi naman hindi totoo ang mga tao doon. Dito totoo may asawa ka, may anak ka, ganyan. So yun yung premise. Yun. So um and because of that um yung one one film director approached me if I wanted to have it expanded into a full length film. So and it was pitched in some directors pitching session one time pero hindi lumusot kasi hindi para ako kompleto yung kwento so that's one of the things that I want to explore in the future um, now I'm submitting again for Lab Fest and um, it's medyo historical din naman na may fantasy now the question that um, when we're talking about the topic of super super stories super stories especially for comics yung Ang, ang napapansin ko, the stories that have made me or that have brought me to where I am right now is number one, the ultimate connection with the audience. Yung meron kang tinatamaang little something inside of them, whatever topic that is. For Jaja, it's the gay thing. And of course, there's the ada dodong thing na, you know, you parang everybody deserves a dodong kind of thing, that little hukot thing going on. For leading lady, nandyan yung, it's the same thing. You have the maid, you have this super dashing superhero falling in love with the maid, who doesn't like that? Ganon. Um, mula sa kulimliman, it's that thing about, yung, yung paghihirap natin bilang Pinoy, na we want to keep the family together despite everything, ganyan. Pero ang ginagawa ko, I place this, uh, I encase it in this fantasy thing. So, uh, um, there was someone who told me, this theater reviewer, who said na, at least in theater, ako pa lang ang gumagawa nun. Na I take, I, I take a social cultural reality and then wrap it, wrap some fantastical thing around it. Ganyan. So, not only does it um, hit the heart, it also activates the imagination. Yung ganon. Um, so, yun ang nakita kong what the super story is about. Um, going back to my thing about why I'm quitting comics. Ganyan. Um, it's so easy to blame the reader. Honestly, because yung parang sila sabi to mga ano sina, when I when I would read forums about um, how do you save Filipino comics, ganyan ganyan, and people were saying that more people should read it, ganyan, more people should read it. Um, our distribution system sucks, ganyan. We're getting no support, ganyan ganyan ganyan. Pero sa akin um, is more like ako personally as a creator, I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to create the best stories I can possibly make for the most number of people that I can. Ganyan. Awa ng Dios kapag may show kami sa theater, I would bring my books. Marami siyang nabibenta. And these are like people who have not touched a comic in years. And they pick up the books. So, that gives me hope. Na... Um, I would also like to think that when my first Jaja book hit the bestseller list for National back then, I would also like to think that it's because there was the movie and the stage musical. People who did not know that comic book ex books existed again, parang nakapasok sila sa comics again because of these other mass media adaptations. So I'm thinking na parang is that an avenue? Parang is that an avenue that some comic book creators can take to create work that can possibly be pitched and adapted in other medium media so that those people in those circles can be attracted to our space because we're still ironing out the ano pero i'm currently working on the screenplay of that uh, my deadline is next week so, so yon. Um, 
uh, and apart from that, and apart from that, yung nanganganak din. So, so apart, so right now what I'm doing is, I'm trying to finish Saturna Part 3. Yeah? I have a deadline with Regal Films for the leading lady screenplay. Yeah? Plus, I'm doing something for TV, which is not superhero related. They just got me because of what I did for LabFest. Yung mga kwento ko sa LabFest na gustuhan nila. So, someone asked me, Carlo, pwede ka, pwede ka magsumali dito sa Writer's Pool for this TV series? Sabi ko, um, okay, pero I cannot commit to all uh, or to parang I can only commit to like 25% of the episodes. Parang ganon. Parang konti na lang kaya kong gawin. Pero it is a foot in the door for me as a creative. Ganyan. Um, hopefully, it will expand my audience. I don't know. Um, right now, we are doing story development work for that series. They want it out in July. Um, kaya, yun, busy-busyhan. Ganon. Um, so, yun. so, for those who are aspiring to make comics or stories in general, your pinaka advice to lang naman is to level up. Level up whenever you can. You start small, then with every success, you level up. Number two, go outside your circle. Go outside your circle. I am primarily a comic book creator, but I stepped into theater. And because I stepped into theater, I stepped into film. And because I stepped into film, I got stepped into TV. So then, jan, you parang nagi expand lang yung horizons mo. But ultimately, you will still come back home. Comics talen ang nasa puso yung ganon. Um, so ano oras na? Four, four fifteen, four fifty-four. Okay, so I guess. Yoguna, I think that's all I have to say. Um, question and answer portion pa tayo? Okay, it's a good game. <laughs> what are the major changes you've seen in the past 10 years? Uh, thank, you for, yeah, thank you for that wonderful question. Um, <laughs> Ay, pero ready ka, no? Uh -oh. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Again, ako lalap. Please state your name and your profession if you're a student. Are you a student, sir? Uh, no, but I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm just a custodian, a uh, freelance comic artist. Okay. Uh, ah, nakikita ko yung pangalan mo sa Facebook. <laughs> uh, how do you work on your ideas? Like, how do you expand them? Because it's easy to come up with an idea, but how do you expand them enough for like a comic? a uh, play or a TV show? Nagsisimula yan, no, nagsisimula yan sa... Okay, uh, that's a very good question. Thank you very much. Um, I usually work on my stories a year in advance. What does that mean? For Leading Lady, when I wrote this, when I conceptualized Leading Lady, that was in early 2012. So I just had that idea. I wanted a story about the maid of a superhero team. I did not know yet what was going to happen. But I just wrote down a few lines of uh, the maid and the sister talking. You lang dialogue lang. And then I left it alone. The deadline was 2013 Feb, the following year. I wrote it in a month. So kumbaga, I just let it stay there. Parang yung sinasabi nila na when you, ano, you don't force ideas out, you just um, identify your intention, ganyan, tapos you live your life, and then when you decide to sit down on it and start again, may lumalabas. It's, it has worked for me for Leading Lady, it has worked for me for Mulas Kunin Liman, it has worked for me in the current play that I've submitted to LabFest. So yon. So it's really you say that we like trust your subconscious, mga ganyan, that woo woo stuff, ganyan. Um, although at some point then, um, just to answer your question, my I'm looking for two things. Number one, what is the main conflict? Um, so when I think na okay, I want a story about the maid of a superhero team. What kinds of conflict can actually happen? So I make the laundry list. Ganyan. Ah, okay, conflict number one. Nakagusto si superhero kay maid. 
point of conflict yan. Kasi they're in their superhero headquarters. Naglilinis si Maid, tapos mamaya ito na yung amo, biglang I like you. Di ba nakakaloka yan sa Maid? Di ba? Natun ka sa Justice League. Biglang nilapitan ka ni Aquaman. Sabihin, I like you. Parang, <laughs> ayaw ko lang isda. Yung kanya. <laughs> Pero hot ka, di ba? Yung gano'n. So that's one, di ba? Secondly, secondly, ano pa rin mangyari? I, my, my thought is, na, si sister ng maid is also in the Hall of Justice. Paano siya nakapunta doon? So now I create the backstory. Ganyan na, wedding ng away yung kapatid sa nanay. Tapos, as is usual in the Filipino setting, ano ginagawa ng mga kapatid? tumatakbo dun sa isa pang kapatid. So, sinis, baka pwede naman ako dyan muna sa bahay ng amo nyo kay isang gabi lang, ganyan. And of course, you have this maid in the Hall of Justice saying, eh, sige, punta ka dito, ganyan. So, I will disable now all the cameras and the defense mechanisms para ka makapasok si kapatid ko sa likod ng Hall of Justice. Ganyan. So, and then to add more, ah, okay, what if kapatid is actually hired by the supervillain team to go inside the Hall of Justice to steal the files of the heroes? Hanapin ang weakness sa files para ibigay sa supervillain team for their nefarious ano, schemes, ganyan. So yun yung pinaka, ano, you list down lahat ng pwede mangyari and then trust your gut. Ano ang... Pwedeng maging, you can take all kasi there will be some conflicts na mangingibabaw, yung iba magiging, yung ano, um, tawag dito, it, 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 the play is 45 minutes, pero ang daming mga maliit na conflicts going on. Some are the large ones, the main ones, tapos yung iba, yung mga maliit na conflicts serve to aggravate the bigger ones. Yung ganon. Um, in However, so that's one, the conflict. The second one is the thematic naman. Yung sinasabi lang, what is theme? I had a hard time finding out ano ba itong sinasabing theme. Ganyan, when ano. Theme for me is really, why am I making this story in the first place? I am going to devote time and energy and brain power to making this story so it has to have some significance to me personally. So ano yung ano for leading lady the, it's the question it's the thematic question of yung mga problema ng hinayaan natin ng matagal at dahil matagal nating hinayaan lumulobo at lumalaki. So in leading lady's case you have the two sisters. In the past they had this conflict or quarrel about a man. And that's the, and hinayaan nila yung problema na yun. Pagdating sa Hall of Justice, through a series of events, lumabas ulit. And it ends up with the sister using her superpowers to kill a leading man. Yun. So, ganun ko OA at nangyari sa ano. And it made sense. It made sense. So, um, so there. So for for um, for leading lady, it was that problems that escalate, and I'm sure you know what that's like when you have a problem at home, na hindi niyo ina address because you don't want to rock the boat, and then eventually biglang sa sabo yung ganyan. So yeah, it has happens in families, it happens among friends, ganyan. For mula sa kulimliman, the wife with the husband who's pandai. I was working about truth. It was during the time when social media was starting to become questionably true. You remember that time during the, the campaign period. We don't know what was true and what was made up. So that was where I was coming from pagdating sa mula sa kuningliman. It's not there. I mean, I don't mention anything political in the play. But that's where I'm coming from. Yung ganon. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers your question. Yeah. It's actually ano yung 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 pagawa ng kwento. Ultimately, it um, you don't get it right away. Parang drawing lang yun eh, di ba? Yung pag drawing ka, you start with the stick figures and then the perspective and then the anatomy ganyan ganyan. And even after five years, 
um, you're hindi ka sure of what you're doing when you draw. It's same thing with writing. You really just have to keep on making at least one new story a year para um, you know, mahahasa kayo. Ganun lang yun. Join contests. It helps. Even if you don't win. At least may objective ka na I'm gonna join this contest. I'm not going to win but at least I have made a story. And that's the most important. Hi, I'm Pancho. Hello. Ang ganda na lang nangamanak yung stories nyo in two films in theater. Mm -hmm. uh, pag ginagawa nyo ba yung stories nyo, conscious kayo na, o oh, ito pwede itong expand, uh, expand sa film or theater? Actually, hindi. Kasi when I did Shaja, parang, and then, you know, when I did Shaja, syempre, depressed ako nun, di ba? So, nagulubas yung libro, and then people were saying na, uy, para siyang si Rufa May, ganyan. Hindi ko muna sineryoso. Di parang, Talaga. Although, honestly, my background is well entrenched in Pinoy pop culture. In the sense na, fan ako ni Sharon. Fan ako ni Maricel. Inaabahan ko yung mga pelikula ni Dina Bonivia. Ganyan. Na mag-isa lang akong manonood. Yung ganon. So, in the 80s, when I was in late high school to college, yun yung, and, and the, towards the early 90s, yun yung, yun yung at the back of my brain. Yung mga trailer ng pelikula noon, minememorize ko. O oh, ate, o oh, ate, parang sa Manikang de Suse. <laughs> Shabu Puneta, di ba? Yun. Memorize ko yan. <laughs> Ganon. So, bakya ako by nature, di ba? But at the same time, on the other end, nanonood ako ng Space 1999, Battlestar Galactica, Star Trek, ganyan. Tapos on the side naman, fan ako ng X-Men, ganyan-ganyan. Collector ako ng mutant books. So, ano mangyayari sa utak mo? <laughs> diba? So, meron kang influences ng Western sci-fi, Western fantasy, Western comic books, at saka Pinoy kabakyaan. And that's where Jaja comes from. That's where Mulasa Kolimliman comes from. It's this melding of things. Na, and for my audience, it, apparently it works. Ganyan. Because it reminds them. It reminds them of things. It reminds them na, no, the, this multicultural society that we have. Na, we can appreciate a Marvel film uh, a foreign independent film, but we will tweet, we will tweet about Aldab mm -hmm. with equal uh, intensity and passion. Ganyan. So, um, parang I don't know if I answered the question. <laughs> What's the question again? <laughs> What's the question? You were conscious. Um, yeah. So, okay. Thank you. Um, so, was I conscious? Eventually, I became conscious about it. Because um, this particularly happened after Leading Lady. Nung nilapitan ako for the musical. Dun ako na ano na parang bakit bakit ako nilapitan for these things. And then when I tried to dissect everything, you know, it has it has those elements. It has those elements that the Filipino is familiar with. Yung the the formula of the Filipino film, the one that has worked. But on the other end, you infuse it with the new. You make something novel from it. So, you sinasabi lang original idea, di ba? You sinasabi, there's really nothing original. You take something that's time and tested, and then you spin it. Ganyan. Parang politika lang yan. Di ba? Pero yun. Um, pero yun. You just take something time and test it. And then you, you add your influence. You add your, I uh, know. Um, and, and it helps to be a sponge. It's not very psychologically pleasing from time to time to be a sponge. Um, because it can make you paranoid. Pero for me, uh, I've come to embrace that side of me. Na... Um, the paranoia feeds my stories. But I had to go through a period of having to, you know, parang nag self help ako ng bonga bonga, ganyan, to quell the demons na ano. Kasi, despite the material that I write, 
I'm not the most positive person. Yon. Ang daming nagaganap dito. Na ano. And it is through the stories. Dun ko. Dun ko siya nilalabas. And that's why they say that when you make stories, you're actually making arguments. You're actually, it's self-talk. It's your way. Yeah, art as expression. It's your way to articulate lahat ng mga nandito sa subconscious mo. And hopefully, it will become therapeutic to you. It will lead you to some answers. Or at least, make the questions clearer. Yan. Um... Yeah, so, madalot kayo ng Pinoy films, ganyan, <laughs> ganoon. Um, so, yun. Uh, ay, yeah, that's the answer to question. Thank you. Any other question? Last question, ladies. Ladies, na iba. Ayan. Hi, my name is Ishi. Hi, Ishi. Um, I just wanted to ask, kung paano mo na maintain yung integrity ng work mo? Kasi it goes through adaptation, sabi mo either through movie uh -oh. or through theater. How do you make sure that it's still there, that it's still yours? Kahit kasi may mga co-writers na or someone else. Okay. How do you do that? Okay. Kala ko tatlong mo paano mo yung maintain yung useful glow mo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, about the adaptations. The thing about adaptations is it depends on. Uh, okay, my my first my first philosophy when it comes to adaptations: the mere fact that you allow someone to adapt it, you're already giving that person the license to change it. That's my philosophy. It might not be other creators' philosophy, uh, pero if you want to protect it. Bakit may papa-adapt? Yung ganun. Yun na sa akin. Of course, kung sabihin mo, ikaw lang ko ng pera eh. Oh, sige, sige, fine. Oh, yun, pera yan eh. Ganyan. <laughs> pero yun nga, pero in terms of the principle, yung, princip yung prinsipyo mo bilang pinang storyteller, ganyan, na parang if you want to protect the integrity of your work, keep it as a book. Be Alan Moore. Ganyan. Na parang yun. So, di ba? Uh, yeah. Um, because you want to keep that the book intact, the whole idea, ganyan. For when when Regal happened, so Jaja Zadurna was adopted, I attended the meetings, ganyan. Sinabi ko kanila, you do what you want to do. If you want to introduce teen idols in there, do that. Because I understand that you are a business. As long as you keep the plot intact, Yun, yun ang importante sa akin. Ganyan. So that whole bit about the Amazonistas changing the sex of their victims, ganyan, parang okay lang yun eh. Kasi when you, when you look at Jaja, the comic book, the story is really, 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 really very simple. And for it to cover one and a half hours, kailangan medyo, kailangan pakapalit siya ng konti. Yung ganon. Um, for leading lady naman, that was not a problem kasi ako naman ang adapt eh. So the producer asked me to expand the story, ganyan. The only thing that the producer requested from me is, please make it money-making. Yun. Um, kasi, di ba, when, you, when you start kasi with a small story, here's an example. So when I did Bunas Kulim Liman, the wife of the Pandai story, uh, I sat down with the director and the producer to talk about the options. Because it wasn't a fully formed story, it can be anything. So sinabi ko kanila, you can actually make it commercial or you can actually make it indie. When you say commercial, the wife actually goes to this fantasy land and meets all of these aswangs and ganyan ganyan and becomes a warrior herself, saves her husband, ganyan ganyan. Happily ever after. Diba? So pwedeng ganon. Or you could go the indie route. What's the indie route? It's a psychological drama about a husband who's trying to, um, you know, move ahead in life with his with his family, and it might just be all in his head. Pwede rin ganon. 
So, yeah, so kumbaga, eh, it depends na on your objective. Ganyan. Um, if you have a work, as opposed to, as opposed to, I was asked to adapt a Wattpad book into a screenplay. And who reads a Watt, uh, those Pinoy Wattpad novels? P uh, okay, you do. Yeah. So, so they have a reputation, but they have a reputation of not really being very well written. Pero there are those na talagang addicts kanila ganyan. So when when the producer asked me to adapt that book, ang sinabi ng producer sa akin, don't worry about changing things. We okay lang sa author yon. You can change everything. <laughs> so the ko ah, uh, bakit pa naging adaptation? <laughs> Ganun. So, you know, so iba iba rin eh. Iba iba rin eh. Um, so, if you're a creator and, and a producer approaches you not to want to adapt your piece, you, know, you, you will be asked to sit down with them naman talaga. They just won't take your story and run away with it. They will sit down with you, they'll talk to you, and no pwedeng gawin, ganyan, ganyan. And if there's something that you don't like, let the money stay. Talk na lang, <laughs> you know, for me, ito ha, here's the thing. A lot of people did not like the Saturno movie. Who has not seen the Saturno movie? You have not seen the Saturno movie, okay? Um, a lot of people did not like it, okay? Um, especially those who, made, who, who did the book. But there, was, there were two reviews from Americans who said that it was one of the best superhero films that they ever seen. At hindi sila libero. Yun. And it reminds me now of what director Joe Alamangan said. Ultimately, it all boils down to taste. Yon. What the Americans saw in Jaja was a commentary against the Western template of the superhero. It was also the same comment that they gave Gagamboy. Diba? Gagamboy was challenging the conventions of how a superhero movie should be. So, like, in critical something, sure, but shah, ganyan. Diba? So, so yun, ang, yun yung mga, ano. So, we look at a work from different lenses, eh. Diba? So, yeah. So, um, ultimately, it's the creator who decides how far he or she wants to go with it. Yeah. And with that, thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.